Hi folks, um, very quick one. Again, I'll keep repeating myself. Um, I'm into green issues, blah, 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 but I don't support the tactics of just stop oil because, in my opinion, they're just cheesing people off. And the only thing they'll do is result in um, turning people off green issues. I'd also suspect 100% that the government is unable to do anything green because they'll then be accused of caving into what will be terrorism basically and I suspect all the um, people in all the um, you know top brass as it were will be saying look if you cave into them and then we have a terrorist act you're going to be on your head be it um, now we do have you know the government does tend not to have well so it tends to have a policy of not caving into such things so why unlike america and other countries if you kidnap we don't pay up now the result has often been it's never been worth kidnapping anyone from so i'm just checking it for con it's never been worth kidnapping anyone from england it's why you don't get many and they usually know because at the end of the day you're not going to get anything it's just going to be a pain for you i mean well, if you get somebody from America, you know, ooh, a few quid there. They usually, you know, the, the impression I get is the making government and other governments do pay up. Now, so let's move on. Um, one of the things that I'm seeing is people are getting more angry. Now, I remember that woman tapping, going slightly forward, and she, for some reason she got prosecuted. And I did, I thought it was a bizarre thing. Because, in my opinion, she wasn't. She, all she just did was move forward. Um, and I'm noticing now people are just driving through these um, protesters, um, not bothered if they hit them or not. And I'm wondering if they're getting prosecuted. Because I, d I think one of the problems is, and it's interesting, I don't. The police, I think, have already got the powers and have done for years just to move these protesters to the side of the road. So they can protest walking along but not blocking the traffic. I think the crime becomes when they're blocking the traffic, regardless if they're going slow or anything. Um, and it does make you question why they're being allowed to. But if somebody does get beaten up, um, or run over, maybe killed, I think things may, may become very interesting because I don't think the public will be anti you know, will support the people being prosecuted. Um, and I think it'll be, you know, it'll be interesting because I think a lot of people would actually go down to the courts and kick off and make a huge fuss and it'll be politically very embarrassing for everyone. Um, but, you know, I do wonder if this just up all that's their aim is just to get someone injured so they can claim to be victims. It's just very nasty the way they're doing things. And their excuse is, oh, well, everyone's talking about it. No, they're just talking about how bad these people are. If people were talking about, yeah, I think there's an environmental issue, they'd have a point, but that isn't what's being done. It's the opposite. You've got normal people saying these people are pain. But in their heads they see that as people talking about the issue, which it isn't. And then you've got that chap who's funding it, which his business seems to be the eco power station. So is he doing it out of I'm into the environment or is he just seeing millions being made? It's worth it for him. He could become extremely rich from the back of eco power. But again, like I keep saying, I'm into the green issues and, you know, um, and I don't know what the solution is because I'm not, I'm, I'm a bit, you know, for me, I'm not sure nuclear is safe as they keep making out. Maybe it is now, but you know, it does seem an expensive way to do things. It costs billions to build. You need the right experts and then to this man it looks like it costs billions and they only seem to have a shelf life of what 40 50 years or something they don't seem to be the great answer but then wind power well they seem to or did they seem to have a problem with birds flying in 
and the air pressure killing them and then they don't seem to for some reason they've been making them out of material that's not biodegradable and we see um, again they don't even seem to last very long because there seems to be you know wasteland with these things in and you think they'd last years unless they last years they again seem a problem um, solar might be a solution but the problem is it's storage as well because I mean I could see localised systems where you encourage people and businesses to have solar and they've got their own light battery back up to charge so charge during the day and then they've got power at night and for businesses obviously most of the power will be during the day anyway um, I mean electric cars which I used to support I don't think so now because um, it seems a bit silly to spend 70 grand on a, an electric car and then oh someone's coming anyway so I'll leave it there